How to set up timers in the mix it up bot. My name is Tree and I make streamer support videos. Stream smarter, no harder. I also stream on Twitch on twitch.tv slash tree. Link is down below in the description. If you haven't set up mix it up bot yet, make sure to check out this video where I do explain how to set it up. If you have already, we jump right into it. Okay, so we click on the hamburger menu and right here we're gonna go to timers. This is where you can set up a timer. We want to set up a new command, which is a timer. It sounds weird because it's also called command. We can say how long is this timer gonna take to trigger? And how many minimum messages in chat need to be happening before this triggers? So for example, every 10 minutes it will pop up. And 10 people need to write something in your chat. It doesn't have to be 10 people, it can also be one person saying 10 things. Basically every time they press send a message in chat, it will count as one. Let's just make this one right now. This way only one person has to write one thing in these 10 minutes to make this trigger. We can make it run only when live, but if we untick this, it will also run when we're offline. Make sure that this bot is open because if the bot isn't open, it can't send these messages. Let's turn it on because I don't need it when we're offline. We can also randomize the timers. If we have multiple timers, we can randomize the order of them. Instead of like they going at the same order constantly, we can randomize that. We can also disable all the timers if we're sick of them. <laughs> so make a new one. Right here, we can make a command group. Basically, we can have a timer group, for example, social medias and the name of the command. So we can do YouTube command group social media. And we have the group interval as well. How many minutes does it need to take between intervals? And we can unlock this command, meaning that it can trigger at the same time as another command. Otherwise, they will wait for each other. If we turn this on, it might become really chaotic. I'm gonna add a chat message and click on plus. Now this is a message that's gonna come in the chat. So it's gonna be YouTube. As a streamer, this means that it will post as you and not as your bot account if you have your bot account linked. If you do not have your bot account linked, it will not say this, all right? We can also whisper it instead of posting it, but we're, we're not gonna whisper it because it's gonna be in the chat. We can use special identifier references. These are pieces of code that mention something like your name, your username, or anything else. We're just gonna make a timer that says, please follow me on YouTube. You can follow me on YouTube here. Here we go. Then we can save this. And we can test it right here by clicking on this button. Now if we go to the chat, we'll see you can follow me here and it will post the link. I'm going back to timers. You'll see that these timers that are in here will trigger every 10 minutes. So every 10 minutes, it will grab this YouTube and ask people to follow me. Well, let's say that you have a game to promote as well. Uh, for example, Stardew Valley. Let's say you have like a sponsorship going on with them, right? I'm just gonna get another chat message and click on plus. If you like Stardew Valley, you can buy it here and then the Steam link to Stardew Valley. This is not actually the link, but you know, imagine the Steam link to Stardew Valley here. And then we're gonna save that as well. Now you can see there's two things in here. Stardew Valley that isn't in the group and the social media, which is the YouTube one. It's gonna do an interval of 10 minutes. What this means is it's gonna grab this, and after 10 minutes, it's gonna grab this one. After another 10 minutes, it's gonna grab that one. Besides from doing this with chat messages, you can do this with a lot of things. Because if we go here to action, you can see that we can have a command trigger as well. We can have a Discord message. You can do something with if this and that, basically anything that you can connect to there. You can have other bots like Lumia react to it. You can have Semibot react to it. You can have a sound effect play every 10 minutes. You can have the voice mode where you can change your voice every 10 minutes. That would be, you know, insane. Have a text to speech message every 10 minutes. So if you want to say, follow me on YouTube every 10 minutes, you can add this text to speech with it as well. So there's a ton of options with the timers, not just chat messages, but so much more. If you want to learn more about Mix It Up, I got a playlist right here. So I'll see you there. I also have a playlist on how to grow on Twitch right here. I got a playlist all about streaming equipment right here. And you can follow me right here to not miss anything. I'll see you there.